it's the weekend again and you join me today as I unbox uh, some bits and pieces that arrived in the mail for me this morning. Um, there's a couple of other things as well which I might fit on the end because um, I've not brought them up here with me, so unorganised. Um, but I have two very special things that I've ordered that arrived this morning. Now, I'm going to a party tonight and um, I'm hoping these are going to be good. There's some trousers that I have ordered from JML. Now, I was actually on there looking for something else. And um, when they get the special offers that pop up on the screen, it popped up that they, these was all on offer. And it was a free pack of large Hollywood pants. I got the large size. Um, I'm never, I'm never sure what size I am really with stuff like this, but um, in this box there are uh, three pairs of Hollywood pants, three different designs, comfort leggings with the power of shapewear, um, high-waisted design to make your legs look longer, double layer waistband, flattens your tummy and slims your waist, which is a bonus for a plus size gal like myself. Um, so um, they cost, let me have a looky. They cost £19.99. Now, um, I think on the website it was some crazy price, like they were £80 or something in the beginning and now they're 20 So, um, you know, I'm expecting wonders here. Um, but yes, so I paid £19.99 for it and uh, £2.95 packaging. And within days they hit my front mat. Um, so we shall open these up. Now I don't want to cause too much damage just in case they have to go back. Um, I'm really weird with sizings. I'm normally in between sizes and you know what it's like trying to find in between sizes everywhere. Same with shoes. Um, I think I'm technically a half size, five and a half maybe, but five, some five and a halves just a little bit too tight and some sixes are a bit big so yeah it's just the luck of the draw I guess but right that's come off fairly easy so it would be really nice if these if I could wear these with one of my new tops tonight um oh so opening the box sellotape to the lid is uh, how to fix our rhinestones when they fall out so there's extra rhinestones in there for so there must be a pair with rhinestones on um yeah and we have a little an extra button as well which is rather good Got the extra bits uh this is pair number one you can see a nice gold zip uh this is the one with the buttons by the looks of it very nice i do like that military style um jackets coats I think it's always been really smart and uh, so these ones if they fit are possibly what I'm going to be wearing tonight with my top from uh, yours clothing I'm, I'm probably going to wear um, if you remember from my last vlog um, I bought the, the black one with the V cut from yours um, it's a wonderful top and it's very slimming so I'll probably wear that tonight and hopefully with these um, so and this one is the rhinestone pair. I'm not a massive lover of rhinestones, um, so that may become just a pair that I wear indoors, if they're all right. But we'll try them on in a second and see if they fit. Now, let's try the ones that I might possibly wear tonight. Nicely packaged, nicely folded too. Um, oh, they feel very nice. They're nice and soft, but you can already, you, I can already feel that they're a proper nice little hold them in material. Uh, seem like a good length. I don't think, mm -mm, unless they're extra stretchy, I don't think they're going to fit me, but we'll give it a go and see. So. Let's see. I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, as you can see, please excuse this. Um, yeah, they're nice high waist leggings. Um, 
for a moment. I thought I wasn't going to get them up, but they do fit and they are extremely comfortable. Um, they feel a little bit, um, the waistband feels different, but they, the, the leggings themselves actually feel a little bit um, fleece lined. So they'd be wonderful in winter. Um, often you're just that little bit more warmth, especially if you're in a job where you're outside. But um, yeah, I quite, they are really comfy. So definitely, if you're a fan of leggings or like wearing your trousers a little bit tighter, um, yeah, I recommend these. And they do look rather swish with the, with the little buttons down. So yeah, possibly, possibly wearing them tonight with my nice top. Not bad, well done JML. Now, the second thing that I bought was, um, I saw it on Facebook uh, the other afternoon and it was a special, I think it was the Marilyn Monroe page, um, actually shared it. And I thought to myself, oh, that's very nice. And being a, a fan of the wonderful woman myself, um, I figured, you know what, I'm going to treat myself with my birthday money. So I've treated myself to, uh, the. I, can, I don't know if I can say it or say it right, Besame, Besame, Besame. I'm not too sure how you say it, but it's Besame. Um, and it's uh, Basami Co Cosmetics. They're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest and YouTube. Um, oh, and I'm liking how it's presented. So, comes in a fairly normal brown box. Open it up. And yes, hello lovely. At Besame or Basami, we, we strive to make cosmetics you'll cherish. From our clean ingredients to the meticulous design, our makeup brings you timeless glamour every day. And they have a special, well, I, I noticed actually, the thing that caught my attention was they've brought out a mascara um, palette, which uh, is very, um, it imitates the old style mascaras from the 1940s. Where you have to actually wet the brush and dip it into the into the block of mascara rather than the old wand and you know so um yeah i was like mm, this is interesting and then i saw the marilyn monroe range and ha i had to get some so <clears throat> on the website you can actually order a free sample of all the lotions um face creams this one is a uh, fragrance free uh, vanishing cream moisturizing primer with meadow foam seed oil and vitamin a this one is a skincare essentials cold cream brightening cleanser with coconut oil and vitamin e that sounds nice i bet it smells nice too um fragrance free uh night cream soothing moisturizer with moringa moringa and meadow foam seed oil not heard of either of them before and a day cream uh, moisturizer with centella, asiastica, <laughs> vitamin C, ester, and hyalur hyaluronic acid. All these big words. Um, yeah, so you can actually order a free sample of all their um, ranges of lotions. Um, I can't remember. I know they're not they're not like your usual off the shelf prices, but they did look very nice. So I'm looking forward to trying those. Now to the important bit. I treated myself to a Marilyn Monroe red hot lipstick and um, girl's best friend mascara. So let's have a look at, um, well I'll tell you what, I won't put this on yet because obviously I'm going to my party later. So um, I'll let you know how that works out. Uh, but I can show you the lipstick. Let's have a look. So it comes in a nice little box. It's got her signature on it if you can see that if my camera's working today and so this is red hot lipstick and we take it out oh it's so pretty oh my goodness look at that look diamonds lovely gold case very classic marilyn monroe signature around the bottom uh, red hot red on the bottom and let's see oh my god it smells lovely 
it smells like icing sugar and oh god it's lovely like a cross between icing sugar and baby powder but look at that oh and i love the shape i love the shape of it as well is that what old lipsticks were shaped like i like it so oh look at that fantastic oh my most favorite color red almost match well it matches the box um but yes so that is a marilyn monroe special 2020 the estate of marilyn monroe so they're obviously working in partnership with them and that is just divine oh my goodness that that is the best lipstick i've not even used it yet that's the best lipstick i've got in my collection let's take a look at the um mascara and see now marilyn monroe collection again that's me on the side Got her signature on there girls best friend mascara okay oh it matches the lipstick so not with the diamonds obviously but it's got the same uh, ridged cap signature Ooh. very nice doesn't seem oh yeah no nice so it's not at all thick or gloopy excellent mm. so i'm looking forward to trying that out later as well but so let me tell you how much this was now the lipstick let's have a look so as i say the samples were all free the uh mascara which is almost gone now it was almost run out on the website um this is just obviously black yep girl's best friend black luck mascara and that was oh it's in dollars so it says 25 dollars 56 now i did write it down what did we say what did we say the girl's best friend mascara was 19 pounds and the lipstick oh is there's actually a picture like a line drawing of marilyn on the side of that as well uh, but the lipstick cost uh 37 dollars 67 which worked out in english um pennies and pounds uh 28 pen uh, 28 pounds 28 pounds so for the grand total of uh 60 pound 36 because shipping actually cost eight pound so i'm guessing this must have come from america or somewhere maybe it is the united states by the looks of it Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so it's come from the States. It only it only took a couple of days to get here as well, which is really impressive. And um, yeah, so for eight pounds, we have a uh, delivery. Um, I have a rather nice limited edition special Marilyn Monroe mascara and lipstick. So if you're a fan of Marilyn Monroe or cosmetics in general, especially vintage style makeup, do check out their website um as i say they're on facebook twitter instagram pinterest and youtube and it's at uh besami or besami cosmetics um, i really really apologize if that is wrong but i am terrible 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 with names and yeah but they're out there look it up um definitely recommend it now um the other thing i bought in the week was a um calf kidston bag um, when I go to uh, my uh, drama um, rehearsals and things like that in the week, um, I normally end up taking a carrier bag with me. Um, it's always good to take a bottle of water, especially if you're in rehearsals, um, so you need your script. I take a notepad because obviously I do all the social media and everything, so there's always a chance I have to take notes or requests from people for stuff we want to do. So... The amount of stuff I was actually taking with me every month was just getting a little bit, you know, bigger than your average carrier bag. Um, so um, what I wanted was um, a small bag for life. And I found that through uh, Calf Kidston. Is it Calf, Calf Kidston? Calf Kidston. And um, so I'll put a picture on here of what the bag actually looks like 
that I bought and it was I believe in in a sale so um, I paid £11 for the bag and um, I also bought this rather lovely hand sanitizer which was uh, I believe rose and cassis cases cassis see another another word I don't I can't pronounce um, so uh, the bag was 11 the hand sanitizer was two pound um, and it cost three ninety five for delivery. So for sixteen pounds ninety five, I've got myself a little bag to take all my stuff to rehearsals, and um, a handy little um, pump hand sanitizer to keep in my handbag. Um, and it's brilliant. I can get my script in there, my notepad, my bottle of water, some pens, um, anything else that I feel like putting in there. Sweets, <laughs> chocolate, uh, yeah, anything. Um, so. Yeah, definitely check out the Kath Kidston uh, website because she's got some real bargains on there at the moment and um, yeah, some really nice patterns on the bag and I went for the blue fl uh, floral one um, and it's it's one of those bags that will look good in winter or summer. Um, I've got a few jackets that kind of look like that as well with flowers on so it'll go well with them as well. Um, but yeah, so definitely check out um, JML. JML's got some good bargains on there um besame or basami i will put all the links below i'll put all the links to the proper names and websites below so you don't get confused or sent down the wrong road because of my inability to say names right um and the calf kidston website i will put that down below as well um so another fairly short one um oh i'll show you these these are what i bought off of amazon as well um i'm a i am I love uh, leopard print and uh for um, i think i paid 8.99 for these but check these out check these so uh, you can probably see i've got one in my hair now and it's like a bright pink with blue but um in this bag here um i it, it they come well there's a few there's a nice pink one there um a blue one uh i work with small children so they they love it when i uh Come in with all my different hair bands and stuff on there's another normal normal leopard print one there's one with blue spots uh, a light pink another oh and a red one one with purple spots uh all oh, the grays nice gray another slightly lighter one there and a burnt orangey terracotta one there but um that whole that whole bag full of those was 8.99 which i think is a proper bargain and um if anyone has seen my rather leery bright pink and blue leopard um animal print jumper that i wore to school the other day <laughs> uh, you'll know you never lose me anyway uh, my mum actually said did you get dressed in the dark this morning but yeah if we went out you'd never lose me because you'd be able to find me no problems so that's all i have for you today um i am going to be appearing in another play with the alexandra players um i didn't mention this in my last one and i should have um i am playing a rather fabulous character called lucille in a play called the cemetery club by ivan menchel and um, I'm oh, I'm so excited about it. I'm appearing on stage with some of my old drama buddies as well as the newer members. And um, it's going to be brilliant. Uh, the play actually opens on the, let me get it right, 27th. Yeah, 27th of October. It runs for four nights only until the 30th of October. And... Um, that's with the Alexandra Players on Bramshot Road in Charlton, SE7. Um, it starts at 7.45. Doors open half an hour before the curtain opens. And, um, yeah, tickets cost £10, concessions 9 You can book tickets um, via uh, the website on the What's On page. Uh, you can email your requests for tickets through and text, and someone in the group will be back to you to to actually you know take and put the book in through um but yes it's a it's a fabulous play about three widows in manhattan living in manhattan and um yeah come and find out what it's about it's a it's a 
wonderful little it's a it's a comedy it is a comedy but it has its moments let's put it that way so uh do bring a tissue with you and uh yeah it should be a good night so i do hope you can join us and i will i'm hoping to do a little vlog maybe not as long as the previous one i did for an evening with the alexander players um but yeah i'll try and I'll try and give you a little bit of an insight as into what what it's actually like to be in a in, a, in an amateur production and uh, my journey and in, in learning how to learn scripts again uh, because it has well I have had a bit of a break and um, obviously you know this is a little bit rusty the sponge is a bit dry um, but I found an amazing technique which has helped me um, learn my lines really quick so um yeah it's brilliant so yeah we're, we're getting there it's going to be brilliant by the time we open it's going to be perfect so do come along and join us if you can thank you very much again for tuning in to watch another one of these episodes i really appreciate it um if you enjoy it please like share the video um tell your friends uh, subscribe turn on the bell i don't i don't post regularly um <laughs> yeah just not a lot happens really um just every now and again something amazing will happen and i'll happen to record it and i'll share it with you um i, I can't I, well who knows maybe eventually i'll be able to put up every week but for now it's just an as and when kind of thing so if you don't mind tuning in every now and again to see what i'm up to or what's happening then just give us a like share subscribe and uh, come along with us for the journey because you'll never know what's going to happen and neither do i <laughs> Thanks again for tuning in. I've got to go and get ready for my party now. So I'll see you next time. Take care. All the best. Lots of love. <laughs>